Hello everybody, this is Cesar and I'm taking the advantage that here is what they call the Autumn Festival so I'm sharing with you the third and last uh, spider exercise and this time we're going to focus on stretch we're going to focus on making our fretting hand stronger and making our pinky stronger and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the gym <laughs> it's like when we go to the gym and we lift weights and then basically we uh, work our biceps, our chest, etc. Here we are going to work uh, the stretch, we are going to work the strength of the pinky and we are going to use a very simple rubber band for our exercise. So let's see how we are going to do it. So we are going to use a normal rubber band, it's kind of an office rubber band. You will find what's good uh, in, in terms of strength and in terms of uh, let's say length uh, in this case, in this one, what I do is I put it around my index, I give it like a turn, and then I put it around the other fingers, okay? Uh, if you want to make your strength, uh, your stretch tougher, then you will do two turns, and then you will put it around the rest of your fingers. Depending on the strength of the stretch that you want to achieve, you will do that. There are people who do things like this. So they do a turn in each one of the fingers, okay, in order to make sure that you are exercising all the fingers. This, in this case, this rubber band is too small to do this. Eh? So what I do, again, is this is my finger, this is my index, I give it a turn and then I put it around the rest of the fingers. Okay, so we choose the same region of the fretboard and in our exercises before, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th, okay? If you find it difficult, because the rubber band would try to keep your fingers together, so you need to stretch, and that's precisely the point of this exercise. Eh? Increasing eh, your strength in your fretting hand and making sure that your reach on your stretch is every time bigger and bigger. So you can take it to the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th so your stretch is, is let's say smaller, right? Now let's stay on the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th, right? Now very important is that again your thumb does not show on the upper part of the fretboard, okay? And uh, in this exercise, the focus is that your fingers are on the frets. So it is not about the speed at all, but that your fingers are on the frets and not on the fret wire or two fingers together in the same fret because of the pressure that the rubber band is putting on the, on the stretch. Okay? Now, the rubber band is important that you put the rubber band in the same position that we have here. Is if you give it a turn on your index, what happens is that middle and ring finger, the rubber band should be below the interphalangeal joint. And in the pinky, the rubber band should be between the distal and the medium interphalangeal joint. By the way, uh, you have here a clue about my day job. <laughs> anyway, so let's start. And the moves are very simple. It's the traditional one, two, three, four. Again, in this exercise, we are not going to focus at all on speed, but on the fact that the fingers should be on the frets. We are going to move one finger at a time and making sure that making sure that the rest of the fingers are on strings and when they land, they land on the frets. We are not going to run at all. We are going to focus on the stretch, wrestling, the stretching, the stretch of the uh, rubber band and making sure that our fingers are landing in the right position. This is our first move, our second move, our third move, our fourth move and then we rest together at the high E and we go upper towards the low E very 
good controlling our fingers making sure we are wrestling the pressure of the rubber band and we are landing on the frets again don't run focus on landing on the right spot with your fingers this is the most important thing it's a stretching exercise it's not a speed exercise it will give you speed once you do it without the rubber band well I hope you have found the exercise interesting now a word of caution take it easy meaning you should start in the part of the fretboard where the distance between frets is minimal and then taking the exercise towards the part of the fretboard where the distance between, between frets is, is, is maximum okay but what I can assure you is that if you do this five minutes per day your stretch would really be much more powerful you will reach better the distance between frets and your pinky will strengthen also massively very important if you feel pain stop because we don't want you to hurt your tendons with you we don't want you to hurt your fretting hand see you very soon in my next video i hope you have found the series of this of the spider exercises interesting and up to the next video play your guitars have fun and be good see you very soon bye